Good morning and happy Tuesday to all of you people watching us today. I know you're shocked to see my lovely face on a Tuesday instead of a Wednesday, but I'm so happy to be here with you guys. Again, I am Annalisa Sawyers from MBRT. I'm the state program manager. And today we are with three lovely students that are going to talk to us about what are you doing this summer? I mean, you know, we're in June, we're ready to get started with all of our summer plans, but gosh darn it, here comes this pandemic and stay at home. And, you know, a lot of things have changed for a lot of people. So we're going to be talking with three students today that are going to be telling us about what their summer plans are or were and how they're kind of adjusting with the, our new norms. So I'm so pleased to have with me today. I don't want to mess anybody's name up. I've got Miss Gabby Holzer, and she is a rising senior, class of 2021, from Eleanor Roosevelt High School in Prince George's County. And we also have Miss Amaya Carroll and Mr. Tegan Brown, who are both rising juniors, no class of 2022. <laughs> with Archbishop Spalding High School. So all three of you guys, welcome and thank you for joining us. How are you guys doing? Good, thank you. <laughs> okay, I cannot have more energy than you guys. So I need you guys to like, come on. We're talking about summer, something you guys should be excited about. Mm -hmm. I don't wanna waste a lot of time today because I know some of you guys have other things going on, which is great because I'm glad to know you guys have stuff to do as opposed to just sitting and being idle. So we're gonna jump in and get started. So did any of you already have like pre-existing summer plans or things that you were planning to do this summer? And if so, what were they? That's to all three of you. Um, I had my whole softball schedule planned out, but because of Corona, some of them were canceled or like pushed back. So I, my first actual tournament is in like a couple weeks, but I've gotten time to like practice more and like just get in shape since I haven't been really doing that. And I've been able to get with my team and all of that anyway, even if it's over the amount of people we're supposed to have in a certain area. But we've been social distancing and anything over it, like anyway. Cool, cool, cool. So you play softball, do you play for your school or do you play on a specific league or who do you play for? Um, I play for travel and for my school, but our school season was canceled. So I play on an 18U travel team and we're like traveling to Ohio and Virginia and Oklahoma this summer. Oh, wow. That's cool. So those plans haven't been impacted. You guys are still planning to travel. Yes. That's cool. That's cool. What about you, Gabby and Tegan? Well, for me, um, I do theater and I was supposed to finish them in DC, but because of COVID-19, there have been stricter regulations placed on like choirs, people singing, people doing theater. So we can't be in the same room because of the air, like traveling because it's transmitted that way. So Right now we're doing Zoom rehearsals and we're gonna be doing the show online. Um, and I also work as a lifeguard, but we're not sure that our pool is gonna open. So I did apply to Starbucks, but we'll see if that works. Yeah. But and then I was it was so weird when you said that I was gonna ask you because I've seen different groups or different choirs, even my own church choir have been doing like Zoom performances. And it's like so cool because I know with Zoom or with anything that we're talking about, when you talk about technology, there can be those one to two second delays. And so it's amazing how um, synchronized everything is able to be. And, you know, it's amazing. So I know that takes a lot of work and a lot of effort. So kudos to your production company for, you know, being able to kind of forge ahead and make sure that happens. And you've got to let us know um, at the end of the session before we get off about when you guys are going to be doing your show so that we can all tune in and watch and support so that's awesome and yes please go get a job at starbucks so i can come and get my frappuccinos thank you very much <laughs> tegan what about you dear uh, most of my summer was basically going to be like preparing for the football season with my team but because of quarantine like we can't meet up obviously so we've been doing more like like zoom meetings and like preparing more mentally and our coach has been telling us to like what to do to like help our body and prepare for the season. And that's cool. I'm a huge football fan myself. We won't talk about my team because I'm sure it's not your team. What position do you play? Uh, corner and wide receiver. Okay. So 
I know, and, 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 and trust me, I know about football, so my question is going to be relevant. So you said your coach has been giving you guys uh, tips on how to do things um, to kind of keep yourselves mentally prepared. Football is a mental sport, you know, because you have to strategize and kind of think. So I'm sure that that's going to help you out, like moving into the school year with how to kind of mentally prepare yourself and strategize, even if it comes just uh, down to, you know, how do you prioritize different things? So have you found that just in those mental exercises that that's kind of helped you just in your daily routine, even being at home? Yeah, it's definitely kept me more organized. And like, I've made like a list of things I like want to do. And like, I check them off throughout the day. Cool, cool, cool. And, and that's always important. We actually did a session on how to stay organized. And that was one of the tips that our presenter talked about was just kind of making a list and kind of following that because it allows you to keep a track and a pulse of what you're doing and how much time you're spending on things. So awesome, awesome. So that's cool. You all guys um, have had things that you were planning on doing. You've had to kind of adjust a little bit. So I want to kind of give you guys opinion on or, you know, how you would um, suggest to the student that may have had something planned like you guys, but whatever it was, it fell through and there really isn't an alternative. I know you said, Gabby, about pools because we don't know what the pool season is going to look like right now. I know my daughter is the same thing going, oh my God, pools should be open by now. So to the kids that have plans and there really haven't been any set alternatives that have come out for them, what are some tips that you guys could suggest for them to kind of help them stay focused and stay active and busy during this time until we get some further instruction or a notice about how we can move forward with a normal sense of summer. Well, and that's I, know, <laughs> I know for me, I was also supposed to start an internship earlier this summer, like next week um, at the NIH, but it got pushed back to August. And now um, I would say to other students, with the plans that you already have, with my internship, I asked them, I was like, is this flexible? Can I start later once the regulations have been kind of pushed? And they're like, yeah, of course. And we'd still love to have you if you still want to come. So first, if it's something, I guess, more flexible and specific to you, go ahead and talk to people because they're always willing to help if you, as long as you ask, what typically they are. Um, and as for like the pool situation, Apply to other things, I guess, but also there are so many ways to occupy yourself with good books. Um, there are lots of new shows out there. Go for runs. There are things to get home to. That's great. A great advice. What about you, Amaya and Tegan? Because you're both athletes, um, and with the social distancing thing in place, maybe other students um, were, gosh, you know, I was planning on trying out for the team this season, or, you know, I made the team and now I can't participate. Any tips that you can give them on how to kind of stay active and stay, you know, encouraged even so that they don't let this having to, um, to kind of stay at home and stay socially distant prevent them from still, you know, following through with those things? Um, I've been like going on like bike rides and runs every morning, just like trying to get myself out of bed and like start my day off right so like I feel motivated. And like I just go through like things I need to do for the week, either if it's like pitching or hitting or fielding. I try to get with other people around me, like go to a field just to feel like I'm actually like it makes you feel more motivated when there's other people around you. That's smart. and yeah. That's smart. That's really smart. What about you, Tegan? Any anything you could offer? Uh like in the mornings, like I usually like get up and like all I first thing I do is like run because it like helps you like prepare for like the day and get you like motivated to do like other things that you need to do. The overwhelming um I guess trend that I'm hearing from all three of you, which I totally agree with, is just to do something, stay motivated, encourage yourself. Don't just kind of sit and be idle. And I think that that's wonderful advice because I think that it actually serves multi purposes. It Number one, it keeps you encouraged and motivated, as you guys said, but it allows you to kind of, like you said, get up and get moving so that you're not sedentary, so that you don't just kind of become like a bum sitting on the, on the couch all the time, because that's when you lose those skills, you lose that focus, you lose that drive and determination. And Amaya, you said it when you kind of, you know, even in this age of social distancing, when you kind of uh, surround yourself with other people that have the same interests or the same mindset, it further encourages you and allows you to continue to push forward. So those are great, 
great tips. Um, and I told you guys, I'm watching my time. I'm making sure that we're staying on track. So I kind of want to shift gears a little bit. And I kind of want to talk about how we take all those wonderful things that you guys just kind of uh, touched on and transition them a little bit into next year or the upcoming school year. You guys are all getting ready to move into new grades. And I'm sure you guys have kind of been following what's going on, you know, with your independent schools or your districts. And no one really knows exactly yet what the fall is going to look like, whether it's going to be all online again or whether it's going to be this hybrid system of you go sometime, you don't go. We really don't know. And I know that that can probably be a source of anxiety for a lot of kids um, or even you guys as well. Can you talk to me a little bit about what your feelings are right now about the upcoming school year? Um, go. <laughs> I guess I <laughs> um, because I'm a rising senior, I'm definitely a little nervous um, just because along with my senior year classes, I'm going to be doing my college applications. And I've been told before that it's hard to balance. And I'm wondering like, if we do a hybrid, will it be easier to do like my college apps at home? But I also think my tools will probably pile on the so I don't know. It's a little stuff that's going to be able to plan as much as it's going to be. Yeah, I'm sure just the not knowing is frustrating, especially with such um, an important year coming up. And then, unfortunately, looking at what happened with the class of 2020, you know, it just it kind of probably adds another layer of stress on top of everything. And and you said it right, you know, just trying to be proactive and, you know, staying on top of, you know, college applications and, you know, even colleges are struggling right now with what it's going to look like not just for their incoming classes but also for students that are applying so you know it, it actually makes sense to have a little bit of um warranted you know nervousness about it because you want to make sure you're staying on top of things so you know that's great tegan and amaya you guys are coming into your junior year which is also a critical year because that's when you tend to start looking at college and you know, making sure that you're in line for the things that you want to be um, in line with with regards to scholarships and, you know, getting applications. And how are you guys feeling about the upcoming school year? Um, well, it kind of like for the SAT stuff, because that's very important during this year, since all of them have been canceled during the summer, there's only like the only thing you can really do is like SAT prep and I've been doing that as like a 10 week program and it's kind of been helpful so like when I actually can do it it'll help me get a better score than I did last year so yeah just that that um again being proactive not just oh well we can't do it right now so why even bother just you know staying on top of it so as you stated when the time comes and you are able to actually take it you'll be well prepared for it so that's awesome that i mean and that makes sense preparation it's always key tegan what about you uh since we have like a lot of time on our hands like i've been doing like a little research from like different colleges and like what i need to do to with that yeah i mean that's the this is the perfect time you know you as you stated to kind of start researching colleges and really with things changing right now definitely researching because there may be new things that they're doing and implementing because the way we do things now are so different so just staying abreast of the changes that are going on with your prospective schools i think is an amazing amazing suggestion because you know you may have thought that you knew what the school was going to do but because of the way things are now they've had to change that completely and if you're not aware of that deadlines could have changed or been extended you know so just staying aware and on top of those things is awesome so so good guys you guys have given us a lot of information and i'm really appreciative of it um we're kind of getting close to our cutoff time so i want to stop really quickly and give you guys um a last chance to kind of put anything out there i know gabby like you said you have your show maya i definitely want you to tell us about your team and how we can follow you and as well as you tegan with your school so uh, I'm kind of just going to go in the order that I see you guys on my screen. So I'm going to start with Gabby, and then I'll go to Amaya, and then Tegan, you can finish this up. So, Gabby, how can we shake, uh, stay up with you with what you're doing with your theater group? So the theater group is called the Wing Music Theater, and it's the Teen Performance Institute. We haven't released the day that we're going to be showing it because they're splicing it together like a movie. 
Um, and I think they're going to be like live streaming it online. So I'll reach out with more information once I have it. Awesome. And I'm sure our moderator heard what you said, and they'll make sure they put the name in our comment section so that people can always go back and look it up. So awesome. Cool. Thank you. Amaya, talk to us about your team. Um, so my team is Firecrackers Maryland 18U. It's an, like a national organization. So we'll be like tra traveling like to those places I said, and we'll be live streaming it. And we also have a game changer that tracks all the games. Um, my, I, like, I'll also be posting stuff on my Twitter, like about practices and stuff. Yes, you gotta give us your Twitter handle, girl. <laughs> <laughs> it's just Amaya underscore Carol. Yeah. And, uh, and I forgot, even though I know, what position do you play, Amaya? Um, I'm a pitcher and a middle infielder, but I also can play like outfield in the corners. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Well, we will look for you as well. And last but not least, Tegan, round us out. Tell us about where we can kind of stay abreast with you. Uh, I I obviously play for like Arthur's Father football, and most of our games are live streamed. Cool, cool. So we'll be well. You gotta you gotta tell us where we can find that information, sir. Uh, like the on a football page usually like puts out like the link to. So I'm sure we can find that like on the school's website. Mm -hmm. Awesome sauce, awesome sauce. Well, guys, thank you so much. You guys have given us so much information. And just because now I know where I can follow you guys, I, I've got something else extra to do with some of my idle time. I don't have much. I promise I work a lot of hours. I, I really do. But I'll make sure that I find time to follow you guys. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I really appreciate it. So viewing audience, as I, I tell you at the end of all of my sessions, if you have not already downloaded our wonderful way to be app, you better get on it. You can find us in the Google or the Apple store under way to be. And we thank you guys so much for joining us today. Thank you so much, Gabby and Maya and Tegan. It's been real. I've had so much fun with you guys. To the rest, everyone else that's viewing with us, we will see you on our next session. We thank you so much for tuning in with us, guys. And everyone, have an awesome day. Practice social distancing, wash your hands, use a mask. We want you to stay safe out there. Thanks, guys. Take care. Thanks. Bye.